Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Hey Dane. It's time for Tips of the Valley. Now we're going to be looking at the yellow and blue dots that you can see within the game when you tap on some of the buildings that have tasks today. Now paying attention to the actual tasks within the game is very important but the key thing at the end of the day is how do you know if you've got enough fuel or not? Now from watching this video here you're going to see some good examples. Now when we look at the actual valley itself we see a lot of buildings. You can tap on those buildings and see how much fuel is necessary to drive to those locations. The closer they are the more information you get. If they're too far away it's going to tell you. Now sometimes it's very easy to make that decision. You might think hey I'm going to go to this building, it's nice and easy, it's very close to my vehicle, that's a piece of cake. So if you look at my one at the moment it's up there in the top center there just close to the diner. So it's between that yellow root building on the left hand side and the next one down on the right hand side. Now this diner is only one drive away so I'm going to take this one. My task is now completed and then I can deliver the bacon and eggs. Not a problem, I get that one done, and hey, it's good. Next task in 3 hours and 59 minutes. But the question is, what to do now? Now, looking around shows me the other tasks, and I can see which ones need to be done. Now, if I click on this house here, you'll see there's a load of yellow dots that appear. Now, this is a task that will drive off into the distance, and you can see from looking at that one, that is kind of a long way to go go. So fuel wise I'm probably not going to do that one. So it's going to take me so many fuel to get to the building, then accept the task and then so many fuel to go to its final destination. Okay I can visit other buildings and do different things on the way, but probably not a good choice. So picking and choosing buildings is very important indeed. Now this is another building that requires a yellow dot task or delivery request and you can see it's on the same path that I'm on so I would have to go back on myself to come forward one more time. Now this is where you need to make that decision. Do you do it or not? Now, sometimes the rewards can be very beneficial. So looking at the actual tokens may head your bets towards choosing that task or not. Also, maybe the actual task is taking you in a direction that you want to go. So you might consider that as a possibility. Now, if I'm looking at my tasks as an example, I might look at the other buildings on the same route or in that same area. And then I'm thinking, hey, if I do it this way, then there's a strong possibility that it is going to be beneficial for me. Uh, so if I'm looking at that top yellow building there, I can see that all these other buildings around here are kind of cool. There's yellow dots, blue dots there, fuel resources, not too bad. So it just means I've got to go back on myself, then come forward again. Hmm, tempt him, tempt him, tempt him. Now if I do go the way of the green roof, okay, it takes me back round towards the cinema anyway, uh, which is not too bad. Or maybe I might change direction and go downwards. So two choices, what would you do? So you've got these choices, everybody. You've got this one here, or you've got the one down on the other side. What would you decide to do if you were in this decision? Thinking of the tokens, thinking of the distance, thinking of the fuel, thinking of the buildings around there. How would you do it? Okay, well, let's move on to the next picture here. Now, I've made my decisions. I've done it, and I've moved on slightly. Now, I've got another building here, which I tap on it, and as you can see there, it's telling me to go to another building. Now, I'm going to accept this one, of course, because it's relatively easy, and the dots now change from yellow to blue to show me my route that I want to go on. It also tells me how many hours I've got left to make that delivery, so there's actually no rush. Well, actually, there is, because you've got a limited amount of time. Now, while I'm on my way there, I can also visit other buildings and I can do other things at the same time. So if I look over on the left hand side, there's a chicken and some buildings there. And the building I've just driven past again has more tasks. I get to this building here and you know what? It then says, would you like to do another task? And you know what? If I look at the actual way it's going, that's not too bad either. So sometimes it's beneficial. Now this is the same building I looked at earlier that wanted me to go back in the other direction towards the building that was down on the right hand side. Now this time it's taken me past two buildings and a chicken and I want to get the chicken so I'm going to say yes on this one. Now the yellow dots change to a blue dot. There's this building on the way there that I'm going to go to as well. The yellow building with the grey roof I've already done. This pizzeria is brand new for me. I'm going to do that one as well. 
collect the resources, keep going again to the next chicken. So you're noticing here I'm doing step by step by step. I'm not jumping straight to the building that I want to go to. So keep that in mind when you're planning your strategies, everybody. You really want to be collecting your tokens as you're moving around. Okay, delivery made, and I've tapped on the building again, and it's sending me off in another direction. So the choice is, do I do it? It's taking me all the way down here, and that's a distance away. Now, I can't see how many actual fuel pieces I'm going to require, but if I look at the map again, there's a lot of buildings in that direction that I've not done yet. There's this one here, the store, you've got the houses there, there's the diner, there's more buildings hidden behind the clouds as well, and then there's more buildings further back as well. Or maybe I could say no, and I might want to go down in this direction. Okay, the map is gigantic. Now I'm going to choose this one, and as I go on this direction, something awful is going to happen. So we've got 3 hours and 46 minutes to reach that spot there. I'm going to pop by some of these other buildings on the way there. Some of the buildings have been done already, not a problem. Now look what happened, I actually broke down. So I've got an hour and 59 minutes on the clock, and someone could come along and revive me. And I've got 3 hours and 45 minutes to do the task, so still plenty of time. But that does require someone who's actually in the game to come to my truck in the same direction. Now I'm starting to move away from the other players there and because I'm not staying in the same location help is more challenging. So speeding up is kind of a good idea if you've got the gyms or you can just wait and come back later. Like I said in my other video there are many many choices with the truck. So what to do, what to do, what to do. The blue dots are still there. Three hours and 45 minutes. I can wait for the time to tick down. Uh, two hours. Now nah, I want to do it for the video. I can't wait two hours and show you guys what happens. So we're going to do it for this one. I will press that speed up option. Now you notice the blue dots are still there because I'm still in the middle of a task. It's not going to go away. However, if I don't get there in time for the three hours and 45 minutes, I lose that task. Now, the decision again is yours. You are thinking about this. What do you do, everybody? Do you wait the two hours? Do you speed up? Uh, do you hope that one of your friends comes and revives you? Maybe there's a green icon there you can message and say, come and help me. Like there's one all the way over the back there as well. But most of these are yellows and I can't contact these people. So no, 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 no. Now, remember, there are about 60-odd people playing at the same time as you. So maybe some trucks will be close, maybe not, but it depends if they actually come and help you or if they are busy or whatever else. Okay, now I've gone with the speed up option. Would you have done the same thing? Now I'm going to stop at that first yellow token that's just there because I'm going to take a slight little detour and watch what happens to the blue dots. So there I am. I'm stopping here and I'm going to take the detour into the other building because it's only the one extra fuel and I've got plenty to get down there. I've also got the resources as well and there's tokens to be gained as I go past. Of course, I want to buy all of these goodies. But uh, yep, yeah, let's do it. Now I'm going to do this task here. And you notice that the blue dots have actually moved to the location I'm at. So it rechanges its direction and it still tells you the path that you are following to get to your final destination. Now this one here, I don't actually have the resources. I can come out of the game and I can go back to the fishing area and collect it or I can just ignore it. It's not going to hurt me in any way and you can do that as well. So ignore the lobster, maybe make a request, ask your friends to help you out and uh, or just let it go. So, lobster, 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 32 and 23. Mm, it's a nice amount as such, but then again, a lobster tail is more beneficial on my farm. So I'm probably going to say no to this one. I'm sorry, young storm. I don't need the tokens that badly. And I'm going to reject it. Now, I could actually say confirm and maybe use the diamonds that I've got within my game, but that would be weird and wonderful anyway. Right, well, I've got three hours to get there, so I'm going to go and do it, everybody. We've got to get the task done, and I've got to say goodbye with this video. So hopefully I've explained a little bit about the yellow dots and the blue dots. If you have any questions about this video or you want to know more information, let me know. But plan your routes carefully, ask for help if you can, and pay attention to the direction you are going in case you do break down.
Okay, well, that's me, Red, signing off again. I hope you like these Tips of the Valley videos, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and do hit that subscription button and the bell notification as well. And enjoy the rest of my wonderful Valley videos. See ya!